असलम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिंपल एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट वाट इज इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट इज अ फी विच इज पेड फॉर हैविंग द यूज ऑफ मनी वी पे इंटरेस्ट ऑन लोन्स फॉर हैविंग द यूज ऑफ बैंक मनी सिमिलरली द बैंक पे अस इंटरेस्ट ऑन द मनी इन्वेस्टेड इन सेविंग अकाउंट्स बिकॉज द बैंक हैज़ टेम्प्रेरी असेस टू ओवर मनी main factors affect the interest are three firstly interest rate secondly amount of loan that we borrow thirdly how long is the time period okay simple interest when you first deposit money in a saving account you your deposit is called principal amount okay सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज एन इंटरेस्ट पेड ओनली ऑन द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट बेसिकली सिंपल इंटरेस्ट डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फार्मूला आई स्टैंड फॉर सिंपल इंटरेस्ट कैपिटल पी स्टैंड फॉर प्रिंसिपल स्मॉल आई स्टैंड फॉर इंटरेस्ट रेट पर टाइम एंड स्मॉल एंड नंबर ऑफ टाइम पीरियड्स ओके वन थिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट स्मॉल आई एंड एंड मस्ट बी कंसिस्टेंट मीन बोथ can be expressed in the same units okay remainder is there time is always in terms of year so if we are dealing with months you have to make your month a fraction of a year how to calculate your loan interest interest is equal to product of three terms principal rate per time and time if for example if we consider 100 dollar as a principal amount and 6% interest rate on it and time duration is 1 year then we get 6 dollar interest on the 100 dollar where how we can obtain this 6 dollar as 100 dollar multiplied by 6% it means 6% is equal to 0.06 and this is multiplied by 1 then we get 6 dollar here we consider a real world example where the number of years is 3 a credit union has issues a 3 year loan okay and the principal amount is 5000 and the rate is given is given rate is 10% okay as the principal amount p is $5000 and number n is 3 and i is the interest rate per year that is 0.1 mean 10% is equal to 0.1 then by using the formula given above we can find the interest that is equal to the product of these three terms and we get 1500 dollar as an interest amount on the 5000 dollar okay hopefully this is clear next term is compound interest compound interest is when the bank pays interest on the principal and the interest already earned in case of simple interest simple interest depend upon only principal part but compound interest principal and the interest already earned depend upon these two terms in the principal plus interest the balance becomes the principal on which the bank figured the next interest payment when doing compound interest this concept is more clear by the help example here we consider a real world example where the principal amount is 8000 dollar and the interest rate is 8% that is equal to 0.08 and the time period which is given is equal to compound quarterly year compounded quarterly quarterly mean 1 by 4 parts of the year that is equal to 0.25 okay and the interest rate is 8% that is 0.08 by multiplying these three terms we get a term that is 160 dollar okay this is our first quarter to calculate the second quarter we again using the principal amount as given above that is 
ओके गिवन हेयर एंड द इंटरेस्ट नाउ वी एड द इंटरेस्ट विच इज ऑलरेडी अर्न दैट इज वन सिक्सटी ओके बाई एडिंग दीज टू टर्म्स वी गेट अ न्यू प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट दैट इज एट थाउजेंड एंड वन सिक्सटी डॉलर ओके फॉर नेक्स्ट क्वार्टर और सेकेंड क्वार्टर वी मल्टीप्लाई दीज थ्री टर्म्स एंड गेट द सेकेंड इंटरेस्ट वैल्यू continuously this way after the eve after the year total interest amount would be 658.46 dollars that is given here at the end of one year the compound amount would be at the no as we know that by adding the compound amount by adding the principal amount and the interest after one year that is this one we get the value this one okay 8659.49 dollars okay this is the value of compound interest now in the case of simple interest we get the value of 640 theek hai 640 dollar the difference between simple and compound interest is given here it shows that the compound interest value is more than a simple interest value okay recall that in case of the compound interest what we have to do first of all we have to calculate the interest value for that quarter here that is this one then what should we do we have to add this interest value to the original principal amount to get the second principal amount and then by using the second principal amount we find the uh, interest for second quarter and continuously in this way we can get the interest for one year okay as compound interest is more than a simple interest okay this is clear from the calculation given here here is a graphical representation of comparison of compound interest and simple interest where x axis for time and y axis for money simple interest is shown by the green line and the compound interest by the red line clearly from second graph we can see that compound interest is more than a simple interest Okay. Next, continuous computing. The continuous computing can be thought of uh, occurring infinite number of time. It can be computing by the following formulas: continuous computing s is equal to p e raised to power i t, where i is rate of interest, t is time period, p is principal continuous principal amount. Okay, where e is the x constant value. okay now here is an application of continuous computing the principal amount is 10000 dollar and the interest rate is given 10% and the time period in which the interest is borrow is 10 year okay then as we know that 10% is equal to 0.1 that is rate of the interest and time period given is equal to 10 years and p be the principal amount given here that is 10000 by putting all the values in the formula by using the calculator you can find the this value that we can get 27183 dollars okay the value of investment increases with increase the frequency of compounding difference by using different frequency we get the following simple interest in 10 year is raised to if we find the simple interest by using this set of this is raised to the 20 dollar and if we are carry here this is 20 dollar for simple interest okay for annual interest get the value of 25937 and semi annual interest is For semi-annual interest, we get this value twenty six thousand five thirty three. 
dollars and for quarterly quarterly computing we get these values sixty thousand eight thirty dollars okay by this com by comparison of these values you can see that the amount is increasing as the num time period is increases next simple payment computing suppose we have invest a sum of money and we wish to know that what will be the value of money at some time in the future in knowing this we assume that any interest is computed on compounding basis recall that amount of money invested is called principal amount and the interest earned is called compound amount okay given any principal interest at a beginning of the time period the compound amount at the end of principal is calculated as s is equal to p plus ip where i i is the interest rate per compounding period p is the principal amount and n is the number of compounding periods compounding amount after one period is s1 is equal to p into 1 plus i and after two period is equal to p into 1 plus i square after three periods this is equal to p into 1 plus i cube and after n periods the compound amount is sn is equal to p into 1 plus i raised to power n basically we can see that the compound amount is simply a function of uh, exponent that is n okay as the compound amount period is increasing the value of n is also increasing for third period the value of n is 3 for nth period the value of n is n and for second period value of n is 2 and for fourth period similarly value of n is 4 and basically the sn is a function of f of n okay the expression 1 plus uh, i raised to power n is called compound amount factor here is an example where the compound amount is thousand dollar and the rate of interest is eight percent and the given time period is 10 year okay by putting these three values eight percent as we know that a per eight percent is equal to 0 0.08 and value of n is 10 that is the number of years and hundred and thousand dollar is, is the principal amount by putting all these values and by using calculator we get the amount that is twenty thousand twenty one thousand and fifty eight point nine two dollars okay this is the amount of compound amount of given principal amount factor present value computation as we know that uh, in our previous slide discussion this is the formula for compo computation of compound interest okay basically this formula is depend upon four terms four terms are pass uh, s p s i and n these four amounts okay and if any one thus knowing the value of any of the three variables we can easily find the fourth one rewriting the formula as p is equal to s n over 1 plus i raised to power n p denotes the present value of the compound amount the um, factor 1 over 1 plus i raised to power n is called the present value factor okay thanks for watching hopefully this helps you to understand the concept of simple and compound interest.